All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Transfer Daily. Now, there has been a few rumours this morning. Obviously, the first one has been Alan Hutton. Guys, don't worry about that one. Matt Wilson, who's a usually a very reliable source, has come out on Twitter and said there's no interest in uh, Alan Hutton whatsoever. Albion are looking to reduce the age of the squad, not increase it. Obviously, Hutton's like 35, any or something like that. But guys as well, um, massive, massive news for Albion as well. Um, Philip Kravonikic, or however you say his name, from Benfica, is looking really likely to be uh, West Brom's first signing. Uh, he is a young midfielder, can play on the wing, he's 23 years of age. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know a lot about him because I really don't, but I've heard that he is a, quite a promising player. Um, like, I can't really say anything else about that, but I do expect, and a lot of people on Twitter, Matt Wilson included, are saying that he will likely to be West Brom's first signing. What do you make of that? Um, I think it's promising that we're bringing in players, especially a midfielder as well. Playing both the, wing, like the wings. And, Young uh, as well, 23. Same age as me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's promising um, that, you know, get a signing. Hopefully there'll be a few more as well, but I ain't really heard nothing. Uh, much of him, but I'll have to have a look at him. See, see he is Croatian as well, so I'm sure Slaven Bilic would have kind of been keeping tabs on him. Um, he would have been a lot younger when Bilic had the job at Croatia. I don't even know if the guy was around, but yeah, it's it's quite promising to be honest. He is a young midfielder. Other news, obviously, we've covered Alan Hutton. That will not be happening, so don't worry about that, guys. Uh, the second one I want to touch on is Charlie Austin from Southampton. Now, there's been a lot of speculation with strikers since Dwight Gale has left. Obviously, Luke Dowling came out at the start of the window and said he will not be signing, which is a bit of a kick in the teeth, to be honest. It's so good for us, and I would love to see Dwight Gale back. But one who's been linked is Charlie Austin. Now, Charlie Austin has been linked to the move to Aston Villa for £8 million. Pound, 30 years of age, he kind of struggled to get in the Southampton team, I think. But I do think that would be a good signing in the Championship. My only issue is, if you're going to spend eight million and then seventy grand a week on Austin, why not get Dwight Gale in? What do you think of that one? Well, like you said, if we if we if we, if we do get Charlie Austin and we pay his actual wages and don't take a cut, which would be strange, going down a league, um, why not get Gale? Why not put the money towards Gale? Who's probably going to do a better job? But guys, let let us know in the comment section what you think. Uh, we're going to try and do a podcast as well. Uh, Philip Krakonovic, I don't even know where the hell you say his name to be honest, I don't know too much about him, but he is looking likely to be West Brom's first signing.